son, isn't that enough? At this time, I'd like to call uh, Sue Fawcett uh, to present the Dave Shepard Award. Good morning, everyone. I want to start off by saying congratulations to Sylvain and Lance on your awards, very well deserved. I also want to say a thank you to Val um, for making sure I get all of my paperwork and ideas in on time. Uh, sometimes it's not always a forte of mine, so I really appreciate it. I would like to congratulate Bob Hildebrandt on being the recipient this year of the David Shepard Award. Bob is a, is a teacher coach who shows outstanding leadership in sport. His extensive volunteering and his energy to create opportunities is endless. Uh, he is the man that normally beats me to the building in the morning, and he is the gentleman who normally leaves after me. Um, he, he's just there all the time, and his dedication to assisting and mentoring new coaches is is beyond. Uh, a little bit of history about Bob. He actually graduated in 1977 and he didn't teach right away. Uh, but when he did start teaching, he was up in Moosonee and then Perry Sound and then found his forever home at Omegwin, in which I was so privileged to be coached by him, have taught with him and now work with him every day. Uh, the sports that he's contributed to uh, are endless, quite honestly. He is the person where if someone is sick and all of a sudden they can't get on a hockey bench, he's on the hockey bench. Or if they can't attend a badminton match, he's there too. Um, predominantly, he, he's coaching volleyball, track and field, uh, had extensive um, involvement in our hosting of Boston two years ago. And he's also a game official as well as a convener. The number of OFSA level pole vaulters that have come out of our little El Maguin, uh, are just one of the testaments to his coaching ability. Uh, at the moment kids walk in in grade nine, Bob is scanning them. He's scanning who he's going to tap, who he's going to say, wow, I think you'd be great at this. And all of a sudden, they're this phenomenal athlete and they come in as these, you know, raw, um, eager kids and he refines them and teaches them. He constantly steps in every time we're short. Uh, Bob has also had extensive involvement in our Special Olympics teams in the area, as well as cross country running and cross country skiing. If I had to define Bob or pick one word, I would say every day. This man is on every day. It's not only when he's teaching in his classroom, but it's his whole heart and how he supports others and supports staff. He's the lead hugger amongst staff. Uh, and I feel like, you know, we're going to have to have a few changes come in this fall, but he's the guy you can count on as a teacher, as a mentor, and as a coach. His breadth of experiences and history and is quenched to always do what is right and what is equitable. Just make him priceless. Bob just has that learning stance and he's always looking to understand why we might be approaching this in that way or how we could do things better. He challenges seasoned athletes to go beyond their comfort level, which is why I think, you know, he's that pole vaulting coach, which just gets more out of every, every student athlete. His role two years ago in the convenership of OFSA was tremendous. He was such a resource and uh, he supported the gathering and organizing of volunteers, which I'm immensely thankful for. Uh, this fall, we were to host OFSA basketball again. And I will say, if it doesn't happen, Bob, you know we're going to be looking at it again down the road. So we'll make it happen at some point. He drives everywhere. He uh, drives my Suburban. He drives his own vehicle. He takes kids everywhere to every match, any game, to just give them an opportunity. He organizes and creates 
weekly gym schedules to ensure that everyone has an equitable practice time as well as going beyond with ordering the buses and the transportation. He takes up time on snow days to run practices and drills to any athlete that shows up. If one shows up, he's in the gym working with them. In particular, uh, Bob last year uh, took on a grade 12 young man. I believe he's six foot five. He might have hit six foot six in the last couple of months. Uh, you know, you can't teach tall. And Bob took him under his wing. And by the end of our season, uh, going on to the GBSSA finals and then moving on to OFSA, I just, I couldn't get over the growth uh, that Bob had fostered in this young man and the time that he spent with him. And for this young man to not have engaged in sports until grade 12, it's just phenomenal. And we all know that lots of kids have potential, but they need that coach to help foster that growth and to get them to where they could be. And as a result, that young man is off to play college volleyball this fall. Bob is truly a beautiful person and has made the world of sports and the world of teaching and physical activity just a better place every day because he's there. I'm very privileged to have been taught by Bob, coached by Bob, and now to work side by side. He is a true inspiration to all of us. Congratulations, Bob. Um, thank you. Uh, after all that, um, <clears throat> about halfway through that, I was wondering who she was talking about. Um, as most coaches in the, in the building, uh, we do this for the kids. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to finish the uh, uh, volleyball season and get to uh, Asa. Um, I'm flattered and honored to be a uh, recipient of this award. I knew Dave Shepard, and uh, he was an awesome guy. Just want to congratulate uh, Sylvan and Lance as well with their, their accomplishments. Um, it's, it's been a great ride. Uh, I hope to go through uh, another year, maybe two, before I uh, get on the retirement list. But uh, I want to thank everybody in the room, uh, especially Sue Fawcett, for the kind words. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. We'll see you in the fall. <laughs> congratulations, Bob. Again, well-deserved. Um, so congratulations.